Hello, in today's tutorial we'll be showing you how to connect to uh, a VPN server using the OpenVPN client application. Now, uh, OpenVPN is the most uh, secure protocol uh, and the most common protocol, security protocol used by uh, VPN service uh, providers or VPN services. And um, the client or the OpenVPN client allows uh, the VPN users to connect to uh, the VPN server, uh, servers that support uh, OpenVPN protocol without the use of the uh, VPN application itself. Now, the main advantage of this is that a lot of uh, operating systems or some operating systems uh, can't support the VPN uh, uh, application, including, for example, older version of iOS, uh, anything uh, before iOS 8. Uh, uh, the, the VPN uh, application cannot be downloaded uh, on it. However, uh, it does support the open uh, VPN client. Uh, another advantage here is that uh, most of the high-end VPN service providers offer the users uh, the ability to connect to more than one device at the same time. And you don't need to download uh, the VPN application on each and every device. You can just connect to the servers using the open VPN client. Now, before we start, uh, we'll need to know what operating system we're running exactly, uh, which version of it. We'll need it to, so that we can get the exact compatible version of the OpenVPN client. Now, in today's tutorial, we'll be using uh, Windows 10 64-bit, and we can get that information from the main screen here. We just go to this PC, we right-click, we go down to Properties, and all the information will be displayed uh, about the operating system. As we said, it's a Windows 10 Pro 64-bit uh, operating system. Now, close that. Step after that, we download the uh, OpenVPN client itself. We open the browser and we search for OpenVPN GUI. Enter. And the first results we get, downloads OpenVPN. We click on that to open the downloads page in the uh, open uh, for the OpenVPN client. We scroll down to the part where it says uh, OpenVPN 2.3.17. Also, this is the latest uh, version released, and we go down and select the installer that is compatible with the operating system uh, that we're uh, running on or we're using. In this case, we'll be installing the one labeled installer for 64-bit Windows Vista and later. We'll click on that to download it. Save it and download file. Once it's finished downloading, we'll open the application to install it. Pretty standard procedure. Click on yes. And then next. I agree. Next. Install. Now, in some cases, they'll ask you if you want to install the tap driver. In other cases, it'll just install it automatically. In this case, it installed it automatically. However, when uh, if it asks you if you need if you want to install the tap driver, you just select yes every time. Once it's done, we click next. Now the show readme box, we untick that. Uh, the readme uh, file is mostly information about the product uh, and how how we use it, how we um, how we install it, all that. Uh, we don't need to read it right now, and we tick on start open uh, VPN GUI. Click on finish, and the icon will appear in the taskbar down here. This is the OpenVPN icon, and it uh, it indicates if you're connected to a VPN server or not. Now, the next step after that is download the, the configuration file of the server itself, the, uh, the server that supports OpenVPN. Now, that can be downloaded from the website of the VPN provider that you're using. Now, in this uh, in this uh, tutorial, we'll be uh, referring to BVPN as our uh, service provider. BVPN is uh, one of the most secure um, uh, VPN uh, service providers or VPN services available in the market today. 
continuously upgrading their uh, features, continuously adding new features to further keep our um, internet more secure, more private, and ensure complete online freedom. Uh, now we go to the website, bvpn.com, and you sign in using your VPN credentials. Of course, if you needed any help um, getting the configuration file, you can always ask the technical team. Their 24 7 live chat with the technical team, BVPN. Password and sign in, and it'll open your uh, account page or your profile page. On the profile page, we'll click on View List of Open VPN Servers. This will bring us all a list of all the servers that support Open VPN uh, protocol. Okay, and we'll just pick anyone. Let's say Germany Frankfurt. So we want to connect to the uh, Frankfurt server. We'll click on generate. And this will download for us the, click on save. This will download for us the configuration file for uh, the Germany uh, server. Now after that's done, we don't need our uh, browser anymore. And we're going to open in the downloads, get the configuration file, cut or copy, and then place it in the configuration uh, folder of uh, OpenVPN to see program files, and then to OpenVPN configuration, and right click, paste, continue. Okay, and that should do the job. We close here and we go down to the icon here, right click and connect. Now here it asks you again for your credentials. Right the VPN credentials. And the password. Click on OK. And once it's connected, it's gonna a uh, uh, notification is gonna appear on the bottom right corner. There it is. That means that you are connected, in fact, to the Germany uh, Frankfurt server. Um, and right now, you're connected to the server using the through the OpenVPN client. Well, uh, and you're done. Thank you for watching.